Hello, Carl here with Sustainability Theory News. We're over at the Royal Institute of Technology in Sweden. Their website is kth.se. Link will be in the description. But researchers have found a way to produce hydrogen from water very cheaply. Now, this could help revolutionize alternative energy. It could be used as a battery storage technology for solar or wind energy, geothermal energy even, by splitting water into hydrogen and then burning that hydrogen later to you know, whenever you have demand for electricity. So they have a diagram here. What the researchers have discovered is a way to make the anode cheaper. Now, electrolytic water splitting works by just putting an electrical charge through water, positive on one side, negative on another. There should be a wall between the two with a space underneath for water and electricity to pass. But one side will off-gas oxygen, the other side will off-gas hydrogen. So they found a way to make an anode that's not out of precious iridium-based anodes. And these anodes, they corrode over time as well and need to be replaced often. So he's found a low-cost, high-efficient way to do this with uh, basically what they call a hydroxide nickel or nickel hydroxide doped with a vanadium, a monolayer double hydroxide involving nickel and vanadium. And it replaces iridium oxides and ruthenium oxides, which are expensive. This could really help revolutionize w alternative energy. So this is great news. The link will be in the description if you want to read more about it. And if you'd like to see more news headlines like this, subscribe to my channel. Have a great day.